folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Factorio. And I had a brilliant idea. What I was going to do is I was going to put down some blueprints for paving with stone everywhere in my factory. Then I was going to go have lunch and let the uh, construction bots do that. And when I get back, the entire factory will be paved. As it turns out, <laughs> it takes a long time to pave things. So my construction bots are going to be kind of busy for a while. I mean, I suppose I could cancel things, but you know what? Screw it. I want them to go ahead and uh, pave everything. Meanwhile, we are going to go and uh, we're going to get our blue stuff going on here. Now, I want to start producing the all the blue stuff. Because it seems like a pretty good idea. I don't know if we're going to switch over to using all blue stuff everywhere. I feel like, at least for now, because there's still a little bit of a, um, like, you know, material concern. Especially in the oil area of things. Um... It, we might not be able to support, you know, blue stuff all over the place. But uh, we'll want it for some things, and that way it will be available. So the blue production is very, very similar to, say, upgrading to the red over here. Like, for example, well, okay, the inserters are, or the uh, splitters are a little bit different. But here you can see we need the... Oh, right, I already had that done. Oh, my... How many do you need? 80 gear wheels? Jesus! What the... Wow! So we need the uh, the red underground. We need apparently a crap ton of iron gear wheels. And then we need some lubricant in here. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this little iron thing that was always just like, I don't know, sort of, whoopsie daisy. I did not mean to do that. Um, right over here. That is feeding our little spaghetti, uh, our spaghetti factory is what's going on there. Um, I guess I could just in inject it over here, but it doesn't actually matter. Uh, da -da -da -da, like that. There we go. This is making um, tier one factories here for the uh, for the science pack. Anyway, um, let's go and put you back over here, and you are supposed to be that, and you're going to be turned over there. Okay. So now we can go ahead and grab, and grab, and grab. So that's part of the equation. Another part of the equation will be the lubricant. So let's grab an underground pipe from here to there. From here to there, that'll be okay. And then whoa, from here, uh, which I guess will be to there. But we'll be going above ground like that. I'm gonna move you and do that. Underground pipe back that way. Like that. And like that. Okay. So some of you have more or less the equipment that you need. You don't need very many gears. No, you do. How come you're not grabbing more? Oh, because your output queue is full. Roger, roger. Um, so we've got... Do we have red boxes? We do have red boxes. Here, here, and here. And then the question is, how much do we want to actually, like, load into these bad boys? Are we want to let it? Gonna want to let it max out because we're gonna want a lot of them later on. I don't know. I guess for now, especially since I'm not planning on doing huge number of these things, I will go ahead and put some sort of limit on the grab. Now I'll, I'll keep doing it with the logistic system. That's gonna be okay. Um, I guess it's gonna be over here. Now there's like the the anything over here, but that's gonna be all right. Uh, so you'll do that. Yeah, as long as there's less than 50. I mean, that's going to be fine for the splitters and the underground belts, almost certainly. You need more undergrounds than you need splitters, but I think I'm pretty okay with that. <clears throat> and then for over here, we'll put a much larger number, I would say. Um, as long as it's less than, I don't know, 300 or something like that. Did I choose the right symbol? Okay, yeah. So that's going to start producing... Well, these two are going to start producing. You need reds. Also, you need gear wheels, but that's fine. You need reds, so I think we're just going to end up spaghettiing that in there. Because why not, right? Um, I think I can sneak some reds in here pretty easily, just along this little bit. Uh, so you're going to be going above, and then when you get over here, you're going to go... Can I reach all the way over there? Nope. There you go, like that. And then you're going to be grabbing reds, and you really don't have power there. Okay. So, um... I just realized this placement's not 
quite going to work. Just because of that. Boom. Still aren't producing very many reds. Luckily, we're not needing very many reds right now. Uh, red circuits, that is. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that should start getting the blue splitters going. I just want to confirm. There they go. They're loading in, and they're producing. All right, so all these things are producing. But now we're going to run low on gears. Looks like the iron plates coming in is fine. All we need to do is... Do we have enough? Oh, we don't have enough! You know what? Underground. I guess we don't need to go that far with the center belt. Grab, oops, no, shift, grab, 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 grab you, do that, and hopefully the iron plates will be able to support all this. I think, I suspect that we will be okay. I guess I'll use a tiny one there, that's going to be alright. I guess it can be tinies everywhere, actually. There we go. Get rid of the last of the little holes. Done! Clear that inventory. Well, I don't know. I'll leave that there for now. We'll see. I might end up dismantling some stuff and wanting more later on. Go there, go there, go there, go there. Okay. So, the bricks are still going through to eventually pave everything. <sighs> sure, it was like, oh, such a brilliant idea. I have tons of the material. The material's not the bottleneck. Hmm. Down here. This thing has... Well, actually, we are starting to finally run low on these bricks. I did have to go and embiggen our um, stone mining, just to make sure we had plenty of stuff. It's seriously not being... Oh, of course it's not being placed there. I don't have any goddamn uh, construction pots to do anything. Um, I think I'm not going to go and scale up the amount of brick production we've got over here. Uh, just because... If we actually run out, it'll enable our construction bots to take care of something else. The other thing I've done is wherever our bots get produced. Oh, we have to figure out something. I've been just putting things into the mining production and the uh, the science one just because uh, in between episodes there wouldn't be anything interesting. It is worth noting we've got coal liquefaction over here that does produce oil products from coal. And that might be something we'll have to look into. But the thing is, we've got plenty of crew. That's, that's certainly not the bottleneck. Um... It's probably worth... Actually, let's get more inserter capacity. That'll make some things go better. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, the robot production. I went and um, broke this over here so that we're not producing any more logistic bots right now, which I think is fine. We'll just keep going with the constructions because apparently that's what we need. And honestly, as long as we're not, like... As long as we're doing things properly with a bus and not relying on, like, requester chests to, like, make most of our products, um, we're not going to need many more logistic bots than we've got now. You know, they, they're mostly just, like, filling me up with things, and that's going to be a-okay. Uh, so, I mean, we're still not producing enough gears. But at least it's happening. And as these things start to sort of fill up and things, it's going to be okay. So, probably it'll be fine. But again, this is a good, the good thing to say. We're not going to be using blues exclusively right now, because we just don't have... Um, yeah, clearly, maybe, maybe a little short on some of this production. I can increase the speed of these things, but that seems a little crazy, doesn't it? I feel like it does. Yeah, it's fine. We'll leave it as yeah, is. Um, okay, so that's going on. We've got our blues. Good. What's next? Um, what's next is probably setting up, speaking of blues, setting up our blue circuit production. And I think that is probably true. Now, we still have the problem where we don't quite have enough petroleum going on. You know what? Whoa, electricity! Whoa, 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 what? Why are we low on electricity? When did that happen? Okay, it's fluctuating a bit. Probably is... Oh, it's probably because we're charging so many freaking bots. <laughs> Blinking yellow lights like crazy. Oh, it's so sick. Um, Why don't we set up solar power? Now, of course, the problem is solar power... Well, I guess the first one, so I don't I have a blueprint. I could just import one, I suppose. The first solar panel really will... Power will have to be set up by hand. Um, I will want bots to do it later on. I wonder if there's an area I am fine with using for solar power. Like, if it weren't for the fact we had a pipeline here, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, I may want to expand out this way. 
I don't know how much space we need for our first design. I might be able to stick it in here. There's a couple of different designs. Some are like way more scalable than others. Oh yeah, um, the uh, the coal mining over here is clearly not being super saturated. So that's something else that's going to take a whack at some point. Um, you know what? Before I expand this too much, I just realized we're supposed to have this train here. We're going to want it to connect up over here. Let me take care of that, because I've gone and added a bunch of stuff in the way here. Um, because some trains are going to want to go from here to this area and don't want to go all the way around. Right? Right. Okay, you know what? That's what we're doing now. We will be setting up the blue thing. We're going to be figuring things out. But, yeah, let's um, let's go and improve this a fair bit. I've got, uh, I've got a few extra bits and pieces I can potentially trash some but that's gonna be okay my poor construction bots oh yeah and the solar power but I want to get the train flowing because I want to figure out where that is and then the solar the first solar thing I'm thinking of building it over here it doesn't pollute so where's the pollution uh, yeah but pollution's already hitting these guys so I'm gonna have to clear those guys out but that's fine that's all that's all part of the same equation do 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 so we have solar power production going on. I think what I'll have to do, though, is I will have to ask for solar powers, accumulators, and substations to be delivered to me so that I can start placing things. So we should be producing all of those things. So this should put out a request to our, um, our um, logistics network. What do I want most now? Nuclear fuel processing, we're not doing upgrading productivity. I mean, we got to get the yellers going, the yellow techs, but that requires blue circuits. I mean, that's it. It's like, it doesn't actually take that much work to set up, really. And then we start getting your yellow tech. Um, but it's fine. Tell you what, we'll just get more mining productivity. It's going to take forever to research, but that's okay. So over here, it's been a while since we put down some train stuff. Luckily, I still have my personal bots to help out. Um, we're going to get you to go out some distance. And same thing here, which again, I don't have to walk all the way there, which is nice. Some distance over that way. And then we are going to, oops, nope. Right click, T junction, auto save. Mm, somewhere over here. And do I actually have like a blueprint for like my regular... Station? No. So let's go and clear that. Grab you. Or regular track is what I meant to say. Boom. And then we get the automatic tree chopping and everything. Although I probably want the design that actually puts down all the power cables as well wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, can I walk through here? Apparently not. Hold on. Just grenade myself and some of my bots. Hopefully that didn't actually kill the bots. I don't think so, though. Um, you. So, yeah, we'll keep going down. So, yeah, somewhere around here is where we're going to put in the bend. So, let's get the T-junction. Although, really all we need to do here is build the corner. You know what? So, I will just build uh, the actual corner. Um, say right here. So... We are going to grab you. Now, I'm expecting that's not going to work. So, we actually want right there. That's as far as we need to go to make that work. Nope, that was the wrong piece. So, I have to select the right rail sometimes. Nope, and I had it that time, but then I just held the button down too long. All right, let's try that again. Okay, that's good. And then from over here, we want to connect up to... Right over there. Cheers and thank you. Is this... What is what is this? There it is. Okay. So, we'll obviously have to do some undergrounding here. Now, one of the things I'm realizing now, when we're looking to standardize on the width of our rail, if it we had standard... Uh, I guess there's no way to go all the way underground. Not, not in a loud space for, like, freaking... Um, uh... Words, roboports, and things like that. Okay, so the, the, the gap is just going to be too big regardless. Okay. Mm, 
you. I'm gonna do that. And over some more that way. And then again here, we're gonna do this. Oh, a little bit more. And you're gonna go from here, tick, tick, to there. Keep that going. And then, uh, over here, we already have a T-junction somewhere. Yeah, right there, good. So let's figure out some of our placements. Um, I don't know if we need another T-junction. But you know what? Uh, no, we really don't. So we'll just build it. We'll just do a corner manually. That's going to be fine. So let's do something like that. And where were we over here? Come on. Uh, oh, right. We hadn't actually picked a spot yet. Um... Yeah, something like this should work. Obviously, you know, things will have to keep being moved, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. Down, 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 so something like that. And over here, and then rail, which comes out of, oh, I should be shift clicking. Although apparently, this might not be. There we go, and shift click to connect up over here as well. Okay. Now, how are we doing on the logistics in this area? We're slightly outside of the actual logistics thing. Let me go ahead and put a, a thing right here. I realize that we've got, you know, some overlap, and that's materially wasted, wasteful, but not a big deal for this stuff. Just make sure to have a little something something. How's our radar coverage over here? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. And, yeah, we'll make sure we've got power sort of up through some of these things. Okay, that's all connected up. Good. And then here, we're going to miss a spot. Yeah, rail is huge. It's easy to forget how substantial it is. Okay, we're going to move this pole to there. All right, I have to have it in hand for that to work. And these guys will have to step back some, and, oh, I'm worried if I use the deconstructor, it's going to summon actual constructor bots, and then it'll take forever for them to get here, if they're even available, so, yeah, weird things would happen. Okay, and we got to pull back on all y'all. What the hell? I have logistic bots on me? Oh, because I moved a roboport, didn't I? Yeah. Um... There we go. Just clear that stuff out. That makes way more sense. Thank you. All right. Grab you. Shift click. And oh yeah, you need to come down here. Uh, let's move this stuff a little bit more so we can figure out what the heck's going on here. Okay. You know what? Let's start from the bottom and say your job is to go there. There we go. And delete you. And I think I got to delete another little bit here. Boom, boom, boom. And then from here, shift click. And I go there. And you have all the things I need to be doing right now. This is not one of them. And yet, I want to. Get rid of that without blowing up other things that I need to keep around. So, whoops. Uh, I had you right. Come on. Like that. To here. Here, this corner is going to make this kind of awkward. I suppose I could just use a regular one for a bit. Save some undergrounds. Okay, definitely dump that. I guess we can keep some of the coal on here. Alright, so you're flowing in. I think... Oh, except that that area's not done. Uh, but otherwise, we're okay. Let's get some power cables running between these bits. Personal robots, go, go. Miss the spot. Thank you. We're going to get rid of the trees in between here because we'll want to walk through here slash run various bits of hardware. There we go. 
in there, and we'll put one right in the middle of that. Excellent. Still missing a few bits. But now trains should be able to run through this area and be okay. Another little missing bit over there, which would be fine if our construction bots weren't permanently busy. We're up to 264 of them, and they're still 100% in use. Oh, the fact that I'm not doing it means that some of these um, construction bots from the main network are getting involved. I don't know how they actually prioritize jobs. I thought they always did the oldest. Although they might have a slight bottleneck in the um, the material right now. So that might be causing them to do some of these others. There you go. See? Construction bot from the main network going in and doing that. That's okay. Um, radar wise, what are we looking at over here? Okay, we're okay for now. But yeah, if I do want more radar coverage, well, we'll figure that out after. Okay. So, um, solar panel network, which I'm going to cram in. Actually, I don't know where. If the tracks are here and going west, which I think is legit, I think we're going to want the solar panel sort of north of these tracks. So, let me go and actually, just so I don't get confuzzled, actually put down a bit of a command here so that I can see these tracks. I kind of want to leave some of the trees behind. That's okay. Now, there's a couple of layouts. There's one layout I've used in the past for solar panel networks, uh, which is small and relatively easy to put in and do manual placement. But there's another one that's like super duper stackable. It is kind of a pain in the ass to draw. I want, you know what? They probably just have a blueprint. Let me, let me, um, uh, Factorio solar panel, solar blueprint, um, Tileable, like that's what I want. Is like a tileable one with um, with a RoboPort in the middle. And there was a good one on the wiki, or there used to be. Uh, but they don't seem to have that layout there. Um, okay. I found one from, from the factoryblueprints.com website. So if we go here, we import a string, I paste, import, grab you. This thing is a tileable one. And I mean, <laughs> this is definitely one of those things where like, designing this by hand, ugh, no, never. Never, 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 never. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to put it here. We have the option of converting this into sort of a, a four-way intersection. We shouldn't be in the way of anything. We get to chop down a lot of trees, which is always fun. So we're going to do that. We're going to make sure you are connected to the main grid thusly, although we probably want to put some redundancy. We'll probably want some guns involved over here as well. And the priority will actually be to make sure um, that... I guess the trees aren't being dumped here. I just want to make sure the RoboPort in the middle gets placed there. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to, to reach into the middle. And then make sure you are connected to the rest of the grid um, in some fashion. Can you be... Oh, you can actually be here and be connected to that. And then if we just, yeah, move over somewhere over here, you'll be connected to the logistic network. And there's going to be a little bit of overlap there. Um, and this doesn't actually have to be connected here, but I'm going to feel good, I think, if there is a little bit of a station right there. And just get you some power. It'll make it a little easier, a little easier for people to get around. How are we doing with our bots? 275 construction bots. Still all in use. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Um, uh, this is fine. Um, <laughs> uh, at least the logistic bots will continue to bring some gear to me, which I have requests, because I have requests for the solar panels, the accumulators, the substations, all of which get built. So, uh, my own personal construction bots will be able to, uh, more or less perform these tasks here. Although, if I can't get to the middle, oh, I'm going to box myself in if I do this. So I can just run around the outside with my construction bots, and at some point, the stuff in the middle will get built. And yeah, we're going to want to figure out some guns. Although this doesn't pollute, so none of the critters should be actually attracted to this. Um, which is good. Um, so they may not go and smash it. May. 
actually, it looks like you can tile these next to each other and they will interconnect. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a couple of guns here, just to say. There we go, you're starting to charge up. And our overall power production is increasing. Yeah, this uh, these will actually be powered. Oh, they're actually already powered, so lovely. So yeah, I'm just going to get a bunch of those in place and feel good about that. I'm going to go and grenade myself and my bots. Actually, I'm not sure the bots are getting hit by the grenades, which is interesting. You know, this, that was a nice buffer against pollution, um, but I need, I need the space for things. There. I think I'm going to feel much better about that. You don't actually have power yet. We need to make sure that these substations and whatnot... There we go. Power cables get connected. So it'll reach out there. Again, you're within... This construction zone was covering enough to reach this and make sure they get that developed. So one way or another, bots are going to happen. We've got lights in the middle there in this blueprint, which is nice. I'm not sure that I've got any automated light production anywhere. I mean, one of the things I can do is just, like, build some lamps and then instruct them to dump, and then they'll get put into um, a storage stockpile somewhere. And it'll be okay. Just in case my storage is starting to get full, I'll put another box over here so things don't have to go as far. And you know what? We'll put a gun over here, too, just to kind of guard some of the intersection stuff, and that's going to be okay. But we are now producing power. We've got an accumulator charge, which is connected to the network. Production will stay up a lot more until the accumulators are fully charged up. We're starting to produce some solar power. Obviously, most of it is still um, coal, but then we can go and fat, um, scale this up. And we have massive production of all these things. The only reason this didn't get insta-built, more or less, is because our construction bots are so busy. But otherwise, that will start to get developed, and that's going to be swell. So yeah, as my logistics. Yeah, they're pretty busy because I think they're grabbing all this wood and stone and things from my person. Um, oh, we got a couple of logistics bots. On me. Oh, that's right, from the ground when I went and tore this apart. And then they're delivering rail to me. Okay, that is good. Um, I suspect, like, we... Ooh, our satisfaction's going down. I was going to say, I suspect we don't need much solar power, because it wasn't too bad. Most of it, we're just waiting for it to construct. And most of it is because... Uh, where'd we get all our graphs and stuff? Can we find out what's using power? Consumption. No, that's... I'm going power consumption. Oh, no, not here. If I go here, there we go. It is our robo ports that are using the vast majority of our power. Well, and every now and again, they go down, but it's because they're busy charging all the construction bots. I mean, our assemblers and our miners are using a lot of power. That's normal. But yeah, the robo ports, it's just whenever they're charging robots, which they're doing nonstop right now, that's why our power is being a little bit eh. Um, I probably got more stuff delivered to me here and walk around, get some more solar panels built. There you go. So we'll put a cut in here. Um, and I might I might try to see if I can let the game run long enough to get more of the, 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 the mining or the uh, the concrete work done. Do we really have uh, nothing else on us? I guess not right now. But yeah, more deliveries. More deliveries all the time. I suppose if I stood right here, I'd be within the range, and then my bot, my personal construction bots will go and do things. So yeah, I'll put it, we'll put a cut in here, and next time, uh, finally probably the blue circuits. I mean, this is, this is good to establish, and I'm okay about that. Um, my <laughs> cementing, not so much. I was even super lazy about it, like, I'm cementing, I'm, I'm, there's stone blocks underneath the, uh, the, the transport belts and everything, because I was too lazy to, like, just draw these bits. I was like, nah, we'll just paint over the whole thing underestimated exactly how demanding on our network that would be, but it looks to me, at a glance, that we have more than 50% of it done. It, to me, it looks like we've got probably about two-thirds of it done. Maybe even more than that. So, it's not going to take that much longer to get it done. And then, hey, it'll be nice! We'll be able to walk fast everywhere. Thanks for watching, folks.